In this video, we are going to understand how can you create Systemate.io contact from Facebook lead ads. So let's say that you are promoting your business using Facebook lead ads. And here, every time a new lead is captured, then automatically the same lead should be created as a new contact in Systemate.io, which is an all-in-one marketing platform. Now, how can we do that? For this, we will have to integrate these two applications using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be Facebook lead ads and my action application will be systemate.io. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So this here is a Facebook lead ad form for a particular page in Facebook. And here we are going to see as soon as this form is filled, then how automatically this lead would be created as a contact in systemate.io. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate systemate.io with Facebook lead ads and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. Now to understand how, let's start. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. This here is the landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now here I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user. And as I do that, here we have reached all apps page. So since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect, let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the dashboard. Now on the right hand side, we have the tab create workflow. Let's click on this. Now this dialog box has appeared and here we have to name our workflow. So what is my objective here? Create systemy.io contact from Facebook lead ads. Now I'm going to click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger here is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you receive an automated response on WhatsApp or SMS about the payment just made. Now, how does that happen? So this is with the help of automation where your trigger application will be any payment gateway like Instamojo, Razorpay, etc. And your action application will be WhatsApp or SMS sending applications. Now let's come to our use case. So here your trigger application will be Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this. Next, we have trigger event. Now trigger event is the event that is going to make this workflow run and here it will be new lead instant. So every time you receive a new lead, then instantly this workflow is going to run. Now here on the right hand side, you can see it is written that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. This means that this trigger application has got no polling time. So you do not have to wait for the response. Now, once this is done, I'm going to click on connect. And as we do that here, Pabli Connect wants to connect itself with Facebook lead ads account. Now to set up this connection, first I'm going to select add new connection and connect with Facebook lead ads. Now, before I've done this, I've already logged into my Facebook account. And so here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Facebook lead ads and Pabli Connect are now properly connected. So once that is done, here we have to enter the page and the lead generation form. To understand this, let me take you to my Facebook account. So here on the left hand side, you can see pages. Let's click on this. Now these are the various pages that I already have created. Now let's say that you want to promote your Ayurvedic store for which you are running these Facebook lead ads. So here I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. I'm going to look for Ayurvedic store here. So you can find this A to Z Ayurvedic store. And here you can see that the system has automatically captured the lead generation form. Now here you can see that the system has automatically captured the lead generation form as I had created only one form. Suppose you had created multiple lead generation forms. So you could have just clicked here on the drop down and you would have seen all the forms that you had created and then you just had to select. Now once this is done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. 
so here you can see that it is saying that it is waiting for the webhook response so basically what are we supposed to do here we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response now before you do that you have to make sure that the lead generation form that you have selected is live now i'm going to take you to metaphor developers page here let's go to my applications now within this we are going to go to tools and here you can see lead ads rto debug tool let's click on this so here using this tool we have to test our api integration so we can create a test lead to confirm that our integration is set up to receive data correctly so here i'm going to look for a to z ayurvedic store so this here is a to z ayurvedic store i'm going to click on this now you can see that the form that was created has already been selected here let's click on preview form so here is the form right in front of us and now here we have to fill in this data let's say the email address of the person is smart at pablitudes.com then here we have the full name so here i'm going to write smart buddy okay then we have the phone number so i'm going to write now i'm going to click on next and submit so here we can see that the form has been submitted so now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here we are waiting for the webhook response. And yes, here you can see that we have captured the response. So this here is the email address of the person, full name, phone number, created date and time. Then this is the response ID, form ID, field data and then rest of the information. Now once we have received this information, what is my objective? I want to create a contact in systemate.io. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to look for systemate.io, but here you can see that this particular application doesn't have a native integration with Public Connect when it comes to action event. So here I am going to use a feature by Pabli, which is API. So we have this amazing module within Public Connect. Whenever you want to understand how to fire an API call through Public Connect, even if the application is not natively integrated with Public Connect, then this here is the module that can help you to do so. So here we have to fill in the following information, action event, endpoint URL, authentication, etc. To understand this, first I'm going to take you to my systemate.io account. So this is the account. Now here I'm going to take you to the funnels that I have created. So let's say that I wish to work on this particular funnel. The name is connect. Now, whenever you wish to create a funnel, all you have to do is click on this blue tab here in the right hand corner. Now I'm going to open this funnel. As I do that here, you can see there's a form embedded here. Let me show you the form. So this here is the form with the basic fields like first name, last name and email address. Taking you back to systemate.io. Here I'm going to click on embedded form. And here you can see this here is the embedded code. And in this embedded code, we have all the information required. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. So first thing that we have to enter here is the action event. As I click on this, you can see all the options like get, post, custom request, put, delete and patch. So whenever you wish to get the data from some particular application, you use get as the action event. And when you want to post the same, you want to use post as the action event. It is also mentioned here in the embedded code. So you can see this here is the action that we are supposed to use. So here I'm going to choose post. Next, we have to enter the endpoint URL. Now this URL is used to communicate with the third party application. So here I'm going to take you back to systemate.io. You can see this URL here. So we are going to make API call to this endpoint URL. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, going back to public connect here, I'm going to paste the endpoint URL. Then we have payload type. So here again, you can see we have got various options like JSON form data and coded form data, text, HTML and XML. So let's refer to the embedded code here. And you can see that here is the method specified, which is form. So I'm going to select form data here. Next is authentication. So here no authentication has been specified. So I am going to select no auth. Otherwise, you had the option for basic auth and bearer token. Next, we have headers again we do not have any headers specified here in the embedded code so i'm going to leave that as it is and then we have to set the parameters so let's click on this and you can see that here we have to enter the name of the label and value now as per the form that has been created in systemate.io i need three labels 
first name, last name and the email address. So here you can see that the three labels are here, first name, then we have the surname and the email. So I am going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect here, I'm going to enter the first label. Now I'm going to click on the plus icon and here we have to enter the second label which is this. I'm going to copy this and here I'm going to paste the second label. Now again I'm going to click on the plus icon and here I am going to enter the third label. I'm going to write email here. Now once this is done here we have to map the value of the labels entered. How can we do that? So let me show you by entering the value of the email. As I click on this, you can see the previous step and as I click on this, so here you can see we have received the data. So I'm going to look for the email address and let me show you the same. So this here is the email address. Now the method with which I have entered the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time your workflow runs in real time so it would be able to capture the new data. If I had written the same information manually, then even when it was running, my workflow was running in real time, it wouldn't have taken the new data. Instead, it would have been stuck with the manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. Now we need the first name and the last name. But here if I will show you the response, I have received the full name. So I'll have to split this. How am I going to do that? So I'm going to add another action step here. And this time I'm going to use text formatter which is a feature by Pabli. Here I'm going to click on action event and yes here we have the event split text. Let's click on this. I'm going to click on connect. And now which text do I want to split? So let's map the value. Click on this. Go to step 1. This here is the full name. Now what is the separator? The separator is going to be the space between first name and last name. And when you have to mention space, you have to write it in this particular format. So I'm going to copy this, paste it over here. Now which segment do I want? The first segment or the last segment? I want both of the segments. So here I'm going to select all and click on save and send test request. So as we do that, here you can see we have received our response. So the name has been split. Now I'm going to take you down. I'm going to quickly refresh this page. Now as I click on this and go to step 2, this here is the first name. Then as I click on this, go to step 2, this here is the last name. So you can see I have received the information here. So you can see that here I have added the values of the set parameters. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we have received the response. Let me show you the same. So this here is the response received, according to which now this contact must be created in systemy.io. Let's go and check the same. So I'm going to close this, go to contacts here. And here you can see smart at pablitudes.com. So this lead has been added here as a contact in systemy.io, which basically means that our integration is a complete success. But we also need to check the same in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Facebook lead ads. Here I'm going to close this page, delete the previous lead. Always remember that once you have submitted the lead, you have to delete the previous lead and then do not forget to refresh the page. Once you do that, here you have to look for the page once again. So this here is the page and I'm going to click on preview form. Now let's fill up the data. So here the email is buddy new at pablitudes.com so here full name is buddy new and now the phone number now i'm going to click on next and submit so once this is submitted what should happen automatically with the help of this module api by pabli this lead should be created in systemy.io as a new contact let's go and i'm going to go back here go to contacts and i'm going to quickly refresh this page and you can see that yes, this contact has been created here. So this means that our integration is a complete success, taking you back to Pabli Connect. Let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger is Facebook lead ads where the event is new lead instant. Then with the help of this feature by Pabli text formatter, we had split the name. Finally, our action was an interesting module, which is API by Pabli. Here the event was post. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. 
apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com/connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy i'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations do not forget to like share and subscribe take care of yourself